We have a lot of cloud cover, a lot of rain. It's just a persistent light to moderate rain we've had through the day today, which we can handle. Temperatures dropping back into the mid 60s. The radar right now is just showing this scattered light rain moving through the area. And if we put it into motion, you can see how we did have some heavier downpours earlier today, but now that seems to be backing off just a little bit. There is a chance that we could still see some higher rain amounts farther south as the night goes on. But I really think for the most part, the heavy rain is out of here, which is great news. Just in the last 12 hours, we picked up over an inch of rain in portions of Huron, Richland County, Southern Ashland County, Holmes County over an inch. Elsewhere, it's just been very light, including here in Greater Cleveland, where we have had just a, a couple hundredths of an inch. But since Friday, and again, this is since Friday, look at the paint that shows up here. And we're talking about anywhere from three to more than six inches of rain in some of these areas that are orange and red. And this pink, that's where we have the highest number that's uh, over six six inches of rain that fell just since Friday. So the big question is, when does the heavy rain chance come back at us? Because if it's that burst of heavy rain, those rain rates just supersede anything else as far as the capability to hold water. And it looks like right now we're not going to have that burst of heavy rain coming in. Now I say that and then I show you this with a batch of shower and thunderstorm activity that's off to the west of us. Our best energy is going to be to the south, but we won't really get into the clearer weather until this whole storm system rotates through and that's going to take at least another 24 hours. Where is the energy? Well, that's what's really going to help to ring out the rainfall. You get the lifting in the thunderstorms. So we look to what's called convective available potential energy. You can see the brighter colors south of us. So the thunderstorms that are really rain efficient producers will stay south of us too. And a lot of that is based on surface temperature. We have been very cool today. We only topped out at 77 at Hopkins. We're sitting in the upper 60s and low 70s right now. Folks wearing sweatshirts and jackets around town today. But your national design mart hour by hour forecast shows that the rain chances for the evening will really start to back off. Tomorrow we're still going to be dancing around with scattered rain showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder. Watch how things really start to move though as that storm system comes in here. Once that area of low pressure finally rotates out of here, which looks like it'll be by Tuesday night, that's when we start to really see some appreciable improvement in the forecast. Forecast. And in your Union Home Mortgage forecast, you can see where that starts to take place. The rain lingers into Wednesday, then we will see it back off. We'll get some sunshine in here on Thursday and pop into the low 80s. On Friday, a warm front moves through, and that is going to open the gates to some heat that's going to be here for the weekend and into next week. Of course, just as the kids get ready to go back to school, isn't that just the way it works? Uh, but right now, it looks like a very summery weekend coming our way.